have to try to really understand it. I think everyone has this perspective of CrossFit that it's some kind of extreme sport that you're going to get hurt in. And it's so different here because the form that you focus on and making sure that you're scaling the exercises to meet what our needs are it just makes a big difference. And you could, you, you never know until you actually get out and actually do it. It's one of those things you have to experience and you feel the exhilaration of. My name is Angela. I'm 55 years old. I've been married for um, going on 38 years now and I have three adult children. I've been crossfitting now for about 18 months. Um, last year my goals really were just to get through the workouts, to, to get a little bit stronger, get a little bit better. This year it has been more specific and there are so many of the exercises that I want to get better at and actually use lighter bands on, use heavier weights on. So I'm trying to get my consecutive double unders. I'm trying to uh, move away from using double bands on my pull-ups. I am working on being able to run faster, um, actually keep up with some of the more athletic uh, people in the gym and to eventually I want to actually go to a higher box on my box jumps as well. Actually my daughter sort of tricked me into it. Um, they told me about this great program they were going to on weekends and I actually saw on Facebook some of the things that my daughter was doing and I didn't put two and two together. They called it boot camp. And so I finally said, okay, I'll, I'll try it. And I came and we were starting the workout. And Brian said, now here's what we do in CrossFit. And I said, CrossFit? Oh, I can't do CrossFit. That's for athletes. Um, but um, I ended up really loving it. Um, I've never been athletic. And, and I just, to me, I've made accomplishments I never would have thought I could have made in my life. There have been times that I've looked at it in the past when I first started and thought, oh, I can't do that. And then now I'm like, okay, let's figure out how I can do that. So that's what's changed for me is, you know, I can't do that too. Let me see how I can do that. I can do it. I might not be able to do it at 85 pounds, but I bet I could do it at 80 or I can do it with a different band, but I can do it. Last year I had a goal to complete a 5K. It was going to be my first one, and I was able to do that, but through the help with uh, Blue Way, Priscilla, and Brian, I've actually done three 5Ks, and I'm getting ready to do my fourth 5K. This one I'll be running with all three of my children on Mother's Day, and so it's a very special event for me. You ready? For what? I have to, oh, who has the to? race. Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> has anyone warmed up yet? Not really. No. <laughs> Stretched a little bit at the bathroom. Stretched at the bathroom. Four, three, Have a good race. Happy Mother's Day. Come on, Angie. Come on, finish strong. Finish strong. Come on. I wanted to get that at 35. Well, another goal then. Yes. <laughs> All right, cool. This past year, I've been able to see so many changes. I have more endurance. I can run a little bit faster. I use less weight on my bands for my pull-ups. I've been working on my toes to rings, and I got one foot up all the way up and I feel like I jump higher on my box jumps. I just feel like overall I have more endurance. I've toned up, um, slowed down a little bit and I uh, just feel stronger in every area.